Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. Today our finance minister Nirmala Sitharaman she presented the union budget for the year 2025 for financial year 2025. So I have already explained it. I have already explained it in our course. You can check the IBPS RRB GBU scale to scale three course. And now on YouTube I am providing the MCQs for uh, union budget. 2024 2025 so let's start the session ibps rrb scale 2 scale 3 course it's available on bank exams today link to join the course is available in the description you can check it so let's start the session uh, let me just hide my face what is the primary theme of budget 2024 2025 uh, it is road map to viksit bharat road map to viksit bharat very important question that is the primary theme of the union budget 2024-2025 roadmap to Vixit Bharat focusing on four key areas women, youth, farmers and the poor women, youth, farmers and poor which financial support is provided for loans for higher education in the domestic institutions 10 lakh rupee financial support uh, for loans for higher education in India in domestic uh, institution further uh, 3% interest subvention would be provided 3% interest subvention would be provided for these loans right and 1 lakh rupee 1 lakh rupee uh, 1 lakh rupee coupons would be provided right we are not sure about what these coupon are for but it's what Nirmala Sitharaman said and 3% interest subvention would be pro provided to the students. So what is a proposed increase and one another important point for loans up to rupees loans up to rupees 7.5 lakhs loans up to rupees 7.5 lakhs collateral free loans would be provided the government would set up a fund through which collateral free no security no security needed to be uh, provided for educational loans for educational loans up to 7.5 lakhs no need to provide any security or collateral what is the proposed increase in standard deduction for the salaried, salaried employees it was 50,000 but now it is 75,000 standard deduction for the salaried employees is 75,000 very important question what is the financial allocation for completion of Polavaram irrigation project it is 15,000 crores 15,000 crore for the Polavaram irrigation project new schemes uh, what new scheme will provide internship opportunities to the youth PM package for the internships the youth they are going to get rupees 5,000 right internship per month internship for one year in big companies right to what percentage has the custom duty and gold and silver has been reduced uh, now it is 6% for gold and 6.4% for 6.4% uh, for silver 6% for gold 6.4% for silver right no actually custom duty and gold and silver is 6% and platinum it is 6.4% right so for gold it is 6% now Budget allocation for Manarega, it is now 86,000 crore. For Manarega, the budget allocation is 86,000 crore. Uh, under the new uh, the system, right, the maximum allocation, employer allocation, employer contribution to the NPS scheme of the employee uh, and NPS account of the employee, now it is 14%. It used to be 10%, but now it is 14%, which is a good step. What is the subsidy provided per kilowatt for residential uh, household for the first two years of roof uh, rooftop solar plants? So it is 30,000 for uh, first two kilowatts, 30,000 for first two kilowatts. So the name of the scheme is PM Surya Ghar, PM Surya Ghar Muft Bijli, PM Surya Ghar Muft Bijli. This is the name of the scheme, right? On first two kilowatts, 30,000 per kilowatt subsidy would be provided and the maximum subsidy that uh, one family can get uh, is 78,000. Max subsidy is maximum subsidy is rupees 78,000 is a maximum subsidy that can be availed. 
for a household with an average monthly electricity consumption of 250 units, uh, two to three kilowatt of roof, rooftop solar or solar system is sufficient. What is the new enhanced limit for Mudra? Very important question. It used to be 10 lakhs, but if somebody has taken a loan under the Mudra scheme, uh, under the Tarun category, and he has repaid his loan properly, right? Then uh, the limit for him has been increased to 20 lakhs. New enhanced limit for the Mudra loans under the Tarun category has been increased to 20 lakhs. Which of the following asset is affected by abolition of indexation benefit? So on gold and real estate, you are not going to get indexation benefit. So indexation benefit, you are not going to get it. And the capital gain tax has been, uh, you know, Redu reduced on the real estate it used to be 20 percent but now it has been reduced to 12.5 percent but the indexation uh, benefit has been uh, uh, abolished the removal of indexation benefit is expected to have which of the following impact on the taxpayer selling gold and real estate increase in taxable capital gain you are going to get a lot of information about it in the future on uh, on your instagram reels for sure what is the new deduction limit on family pension for pensioners as per the latest budget? 25,000 uh, is the new uh, deduction you are going to get. Uh, the pensioners they are going to get. How will UL pin uh, help in linkage to the farmers registries? So Bhu Aadhaar, every property parcel, every land parcel will have a unique ULPN, unique land pin every uh, land of parcel would have this and by ensuring accurate and updated land ownership data that will be link, uh, linked to the farmers registries right what major tax change was made for all classes of investors abolishment of angel tax angel tax has been abolished for all categories to what percentage has corporate tax for the foreign companies had, has been reduced it was 40 percent but now it is 35 percent what is the revised turnover threshold for buyers to mandatorily onboarded on the trades platform? It used to be, I guess, uh, 500 crore, but now it is 250 crores, right? To register on the trades platform, it is compulsory. Uh, if your turnover is more than 250 crores, the reduction in the turnover threshold for mandatory onboarding on trades platform was made uh, to benefit which of the following micro small and medium enterprises msmes under the pm avas yojana urban 2.0 what is the total investment plan to address the need of urban poor and middle class families 10 lakh crore has been allocated what is the primary purpose of credit guarantee scheme for msme in the manufacturing sector to provide credit guarantees without collateral or third party guarantees for term loan used for the purchase of machinery and equipments what is the new mechanism introduced to support MSME in their stress period? Continuation of bank credit through a new mechanism. There is no information about this mechanism as of the moment. We'll be let, we'll letting you know whenever there is any information. What is the primary objective of Vivaad Se Vishwas scheme to resolve income tax disputes pending in appeal? We are going to do another session on this separately. What are the new monetary limits for filing appeals in tax tribunals, high courts and supreme courts as per the latest changes? Uh, it is 60 lakhs for tax tribunals, 2 crores for high, cro uh, high courts and 5 crores for supreme court. These are the monetary limits for filing appeals in the tax tribunals. Under the new tax regime, which tax rate uh, applies to income between 7 and 10 lakhs? 10%. What is the total subsidy available for rooftop solar plant a system larger than three kilowatt maximum 78,000 rupees subsidy can be availed under the scheme. What is the annual interest subvention subvention rate provided under the scheme uh, under uh, the educational loan, which scheme educational loans, educational loans up to 7.5 lakh rupees 7.5 lakh uh, uh, educational loans up to rupees 10 lakhs you are going to get three percent interest subvention okay there are two schemes one for 7.5 lakhs no collateral no securities required for 10 lakh rupee educational loan three percent interest subvention would be provided 
What is the maximum loan amount covered under the government promoted fund guarantee 7.5 uh, lakh? Maximum educational loan, uh, educational, educational, educational loan amount covered under the government promoted fund guarantee 7.5 lakhs. And students, that's all for today. These are all the important factors. So some other major changes were there. For example, that STT has been increased. Uh, security transaction tax has been increased. So that was another point. But for the examination point of view, whatever we have taught, uh, whatever I, I discussed today, it's very important for your exam. Uh, you can go through the in-depth analysis in-depth analysis of the union budget tomorrow i'll be making another 15 20 questions and i think that is more than sufficient for you for ibps rrb scale 2 and scale 3 exam for the union budget okay so you can join the full course on bank exams today where we are providing video classes notes quizzes and the test series link to join is available in the description list of our successful students all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and I'm really, really happy for them. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and I'm really, really happy. So that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.